Today, we're gonna find out if this guy can handle ghost pepper ketchup. Yeah. I, I'm here with my good friend, Casey Beckler, and he sucks at eating spicy things. So, I have four different spicy ketchups that we're going to be trying with said french fries, and we're gonna see how they how they, how they they heat him up. So they're gonna do Every it. single one is gonna do something bad. I don't know, man, I think it's gonna be okay. All right, so we have four different ketchups that we're gonna be eating today. So we have ass kicking ketchup with habanero in it. It's supposed to be kick your ass hot. Kick your ass hot. I had the hot sauce by this company, and it was kick your ass hot. It, it destroyed me. Okay. Um, but that one had a extract in it. This one does not have the extract in it. Um, die. We have the Chesterville Pepper Company made this. Uh, this is what the hell does it say? I have no idea. It's a turbo logo. Sandra Del Diablo. It's a ghost chili infused ketchup. This is the one I think is going to be the hottest. Are we ranking them at the end? Uh, kind of. We're just going to kind of talk. That's not necessarily a rank. It's kind okay. of like how good of a job they did or kind of what we felt, you know, how we felt about it. Um, Melinda's, which is my favorite ketchup company or my favorite, just, like, food company in general ever, they make a ghost pepper ketchup, which is fantastic. Okay. I've actually had this one you before. You've had that one, right? i had this before. Okay, it's, cool. it's great. And then we have Volcanic Peppers Lava Red Reaper Ketchup. <laughs> that sounds so gnarly. Every hot thing I, in the world is But the that. gnarlier it sounds normally, it's normally not, not as bad. So I think we're going to go this one last, and this one, then this one, then this one. I think it's the, the order of operations that we should have. If there was a fifth one just called Ketchup, like just the label, you think that would be the hottest one? It might be. Some of them said, like, shake it. I've never yeah, you shook don't, ketchup before. I don't want the ketchup juice coming out. You've never shook ketchup? I don't really shake ketchup. You've never squirted a ketchup bottle and a little juice comes out? It's not, gross. Not in ketchup. Normally, I mean, that had like a mustard thing. What? You've never squeezed ketchup and water come out? I don't think so. <laughs> That's insane. Have you ever seen the moon during the day? <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> That's You've lived an amazing life. Because that away. sucks. Go away. Okay, so this is ass-kicking ketchup with habanero. Kick your ass hot to see if they, have, they say anything about it. Uh, ingredients, water, tomato paste, sugar, vinegar, salt, spices, habanero pepper, onion, and garlic. Okay. Doesn't seem like there's anything super gnarly in here, but, uh, all right. Let's eat it. Give it a whirl. Um, how, if I'm going to normal now? I'm going full, I'm full not, dip. I'm going to do that. Is that good? But there's no ease into this either. It's got a little heat. Got a little heat. This is actually really good. I feel it a little bit. Definitely. I'm going to get a little more. I feel like it's I got like... It's got like a barbecue sauce. Yeah, flavor. that's what I tasted right away. Almost, it's not really more. It's like more barbecue sauce than a ketchup to me. Oh god. Uh, but very minor heat for me, at least. Do you, are you getting no? I'm fine. Up at all? I think I'm good. Like I'm good too. So delicious, more barbecuey. Not the it does. It tastes like a barbecue world. sauce. It does. It's like it's not really even, good though. Not even ketchup. Moving on. Ketchup number two. Oh, we're this doing this. This one. This is the volcanic pepper lava red reaper ketchup. Okay. So it says lava red reaper ketchup is a great condiment with no corn syrup. Instead, we use cane sugar syrup for a more natural taste. The red reaper hot sauce, hot sauce, we're calling it hot sauce, not on our label now, adds a significant heat to this sweet tomato based concoction. Pour it onto your hot dog, hamburger, fries, or whatever you use ketchup on. I think on. they mix the hot sauce in the ketchup. I think so too. So I can find ingredients tomato, sugar, vinegar, water, red and hot chili peppers. Salt, yeah. onion, garlic. I don't know what a red hot chili pepper is. I feel like the thicker of the consistency of it, like the more dangerous. This is it is. super thick. <laughs> That's what I mean. Like if it comes out in one clump and not like a liquid. I can't even get it out of here. It's, it's like, like a, a rock. It's like a gel. <laughs> Ew. It's like ketchup gel. It looks like it's right expired. Here. Get in there, man. I'm going. It's paint. It's not even. It, it is a paint. I'm going full on <sighs> experiencing a ketchup. Well, okay. Wait for it. Ooh, that's got some good heat to it. It's hot. This is really good. Again, ooh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like, hmm. Dude, get, get, it's, a, get it's, a full dip in there. I got a big it's, dip, man. <laughs> wow, that's pretty hot. This is doing a really good job. I did not think this was going to be that hot, but I really got, got, a, got a good clump going. And this has got some serious heat to it. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Oh. Man, this is hot. I don't know what red hot chili peppers are, uh, but God. they are spicy. That one's hot. It's pretty good. That one's really hot. It's sitting in my throat right now. Are you, gonna be, are you gonna be okay? I'm gonna be fine. I didn't really. I think I just put the dip in my mouth or the paste and swallowed it. Pretty much. <laughs> Have some water. What? I think I'm supposed to drink water when something's hot. It helps if you're just continually drinking water and it never stops. That tastes like a little bit under the hottest thing that I've ever had personally. Moving on to number three. This is Melinda's ghost pepper ketchup. This is my favorite ketchup in the world. I've had it before. I actually eat it all the time. It says, 
Uh, Ghost Peppers is confirmed by Guinness Book of Records. Really? They have one point one million forty one thousand. 427 Scoville units, making it one of the hottest peppers on the planet. It's just a number. That old one, that, that one's still sticking with me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Melinda's ghost pepper ketchup uses only the, the freshest of all natural ingredients, blended per perfectly for the cinder ghost pepper for a delicious ketchup with a fiery hot flavor. One try, you'll never use plain old ketchup again, and I agree. It's a good one. You've, you've used other ketchup. You've used other ketchup in this video. Okay. <laughs> this is gonna. This has always been my go-to ketchup. This one is just. This one's ketchup. It's just yeah. It's exactly. not a paste. It's like plain delicious. Can they see? It's gonna be out of focus, but you try it. Get in there, man. This is delicious. I feel like I may have had this one by accident before. You might. You might have tried it with me when before. we didn't have ketchup, like in the warehouse, to eat lunch. I, I like. I kind of just grab things out of the fridge. It's just so good. It's got great flavor. It's got spice going on. It burns immediately, uh, but it starts to go away after a little bit. I don't like the taste of that one. You don't? After having the second one. I think it's just because I'm mixing them together right now. Listen to the ingredients. Now, this is where the flavor is coming from. Water, tomato paste, pure cane <coughs> sugar, glucose, salt, starch, ghost peppers, and then right at the end there, cinnamon and clove. That's what it is. It's, it's the cinnamon, cinnamon. It's cinnamon. Cinnamon, cinnamon and clove. I don't like the garlic. cinnamon. Being from Cincinnati, we put cinnamon and cloves in our chili. And it's That's also it in this ketchup. I was going to say, it tastes like I'm eating scallion. Like. Exactly. So it's definitely from the cinnamon and the clove. I really like it. <sighs> the second Clearly, it might not be for everybody. It doesn't taste good. I can feel the heat, but I feel like the second one's still lingering. I can't tell if there's The second now. one is definitely lingering. We'll drink a little water, man. Play the, play the palate. All right. Moving on to the fourth and final ketchup. It is, it. it is raining outside. Holy crap. Yeah, you, you, I'll read you, this, you read this one. This is the confusing label we couldn't read it one. Ryan Harris's Sangre del Diablo. Mm. This delicious, spicy ketchup is as hot as the devil's blood itself. Ingredients, vine ripened tomatoes, organic cane sugar, distilled vinegar, ghost chilies, garlic, onion, and salt. Nice. Garlic, onion, and salt seems like it's in like in every single one of these things. Here, I'll let you do this this one specifically said shake on it. So the top of the ingredients, the first one is what's uh, the most in there. And so, I mean, ghost pepper is only the fourth ingredient in this. So I feel like it's going to be the strongest. What was the, what's the hottest pepper you've had? The hottest pepper? Yeah. Uh, Carolina Reaper. And we haven't had any Reaper ketchup before? No. Have you? I've never had a Reaper ketchup. I haven't found it's gotta one. It's got to exist. I've, found, I've had uh, scorpion pepper ketchup, which is uh, made by Melinda's, and it's uh, a little bit hotter than the ghost pepper. I'm going full as much as I can really get on a fry. Okay. I got less fry, more ketchup than that. Where are you? This is way more vinegary yeah, ketchup. That's very vinegary. Definitely very vinegary. It's like hanging out. Right Which now. you would think that would actually help bring the spice in. I'm not getting a lot of spice at all. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna grab three fries and I'm gonna get as much freaking like, ketchup. I'm getting like a, I'm as I possibly can on all three of these. I'm gonna whole fry covered. Freaking get a, a tong of it without chewing it up. This has got like. It's making my nose kind of run a little. Like for me, at least, like zero heat. It's very vinegary. It got like hot pepper. Ghost pepper flavors, but definitely not a super amount of spice going on. That's hot for me. If I just get, if I get a lot on there, it's definitely hot. It's really good. It's got a good flavor. It's just not as hot. Alright, you're getting lit up though. Well, you know what I think we should do? What? This last one. Let's mix all four. Oh, absolutely. Let's that's mix the best. All four that's the best idea ever. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna continue on this. So. I kind of, I kind of wanted to die a little bit in this video. Just to, I mean, the second one so far that we've had. Such a good idea. The second one that we had is by far the hottest one. I think. Absolutely. But I think if we mix them all together, it's gonna taste really gross. And oh, it's gonna, taste, super it's gonna taste delicious. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Put so much on the plate. Plenty of it. Got a lot of fries left still? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I'm gonna get three fries. We're gonna get the spork out. Not the spork. What's that called? We need a sharp fry to mix. Tons of this on there. We're making like the biggest gloop of ketchup. Ew. God, the paste one's so gross looking. You got a lot of this. <laughs> <laughs> so much. <laughs> Look at it move. It's like a lot. There's so much on the Alright, that's your mixture right there. Alright, well, good. I've heard that's what you're doing. Pepper fry now. I'm doing three fries. I spit a little. Is it hot? <laughs> wow, that's just awesome. Three fries as well. I'm gonna freaking go for it. Okay. <coughs> I'm good. I think. Oh man, it tastes so good. It, it tastes so good. It's so good. We used to get invented like the greatest ketchup ever. Do you want to hear? Sure. Do you want to yes. hear a gross ketchup story that I had when I was a kid? What I sure. used to do? You know those little things that you put ketchup in, uh, mm -hmm. like at uh, fast food restaurants? That's really hot. It's hot. <laughs> um, I used to fill them all the way up and I would just eat the ketchup out of it oh as a kid. Oh my god, that's disgusting. <laughs> Kids did gross things, man. So if you want the greatest hot sauce or ketchup in the world, mix the four of these together. It's the best thing that's ever happened to me. But <clears throat> this, two, this, and these, these two were, were definitely the hottest. Yes. 
I'll that say, one tastes the best. And this one, you think this one tastes the yeah. best? Yeah, I'm still sticking with this one right here. And this one, I was kind of disappointed in. Had good flavor, uh, very vinegary. This didn't bring a lot of heat, but now again, heat's not like, at like not everything we're after here. Worst but, label, worst ketchup, pretty much. <laughs> so, anyways, thank you to Casey for joining me on this. Yeah. And as always, I appreciate your likes, your comments, and if you want to see more videos like this, always please subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there, and uh, you'll subscribe to my videos. Uh, from now on, I'm going to be eating a lot of peppers. It's going <laughs> to, oh man, it's going to be great. Bye.